Hi, I'm Joy and this is my channel Yoga with Joy. Welcome. So this is week 10 of our 12 part post abdominal surgery series and you're very welcome and it, I'm imagining you've been following me most of the, of the way. Um, so this is one of quite a lot of post abdominal surgery videos I've done and so there's another series of four and some other videos as well and you can find the playlist up here really good to mix and match and you might be getting towards the stage of wanting to try out my gentle yoga playlist as well I suppose I could put that up here <laughs> um, and yeah so it'd be lovely if you want to try out any of those and I'd love to hear if you've been a abdominal surgery um, person, <laughs> abdominal surgery um, viewer or subscriber, and then, and then moving on to the other yoga videos. So this one, it, it does get a bit stronger. So we've do, we do kind of a bit of lying down ab work. We kind of go up into a little bit of a bridge, very gentle, flowing, just a bit. Um, and we also stand up and do some, yeah, warrior. So, and a bit of a squat. So actually we do quite a few things that, that are beginning to feel like we're really strengthening now. And so if this one feels a bit too much for you, then move back to previous weeks. Um, hopefully it fits in really well. I'd love to hear how it is for you actually, and if you are at week 10. Um, so... I will see you on the mat, grab anything you need. Um, I'm still on the cushions and the blanket, but just use what you need and see you in a moment. <laughs> oh, radiant sun, pure consciousness, flaming orb of truth and bliss. Remove the veil so I can see, illuminate my heart, awaken me. For this practice, we're going to start lying down. So make your way gently down onto the mat. I'm going to put this cushion under my head. And begin with the feet, hip width apart, planted on the mat. And the knees up towards the sky. Placing one hand on the lower belly and one hand on your heart. Taking a moment to find stillness here and check in with how you are doing today. How are you feeling? How is your body repairing? And give yourself some nice warm love, maybe stroke the heart area the lower abdomen. And then finding stillness again with your hands. Let's breathe into the whole of the torso. So as you inhale, feeling the belly and the rib cage and the chest expand, keeping your shoulders nice and soft. And as you exhale, allowing the whole of the upper body to relax and rest back towards the spine, back towards the mat. Feeling this expanding as you inhale and as you exhale. A gentle softening. You can start to engage your pelvic floor as you exhale. Really strengthening those inner core muscles. Taking a few breaths here in your own time. You might have your eyes closed. Or just a soft eye gaze. Feel lovely and gentle and 
relaxed. It's wonderful. Then placing the hands down by the side. We'll start with pelvic tilt, moving up into a flowing bridge, but we won't be going very far up. So taking a breath in. Exhale, lifting up your pelvic floor, your mulabandha, tucking in your abdomen here. So drawing in the abs, lifting up your buttocks off the mat and then slowly peel the lumbar spine off the mat and the lower half of your thoracic spine until you come up to about the rib cage area. Inhale. And then exhale back down. So we're going to exhale on the movement. We're going to take a breath in at the, at the bottom and a breath in at the top. So we're just going to go up to the shoulder blades here, about here, for this particular practice this week. Breath in to prepare. And then exhale. Slowly peel the spine off the mat up to your shoulder blades, about halfway through your thoracic spine. Take a breath in and then exhale down. So the pelvic floor can be engaged all the way through because you're breathing in at the top and breathing in at the bottom and moving on the exhale. Your knees are staying hip width apart. So if you notice they're coming out to the side, just keep them in about hip width. Think of your skeleton hips. Inhale, exhale, peeling the spine off the mat, one vertebrae at a time, up to your shoulder blades. Inhale, and exhale down. How's that feeling? Is that okay for you? If it's too much, just do the pelvic tilts like we were doing before. Inhale, exhale. Lifting up pelvic floor, scooping up belly, and coming up to the shoulder blades, take a breath in. And exhale, placing one vertebrae at a time back onto the mat. Lovely, that's good. That's probably enough. Okay, so bring the hands out, gently rock from side to side with the knees. Good. <laughs> and then we'll bring one knee into the chest and then the other, just as far as is comfortable to go. Place your hands on the knees and circling the knees in the same direction so that they're still kind of hip width, but they're going in the same direction together. Or you could have them closed, closed knees. Whatever's comfortable. And the other way. Wonderful. Place the feet down on the mat. That's wonderful. Okay, so we're going to do an abdominal exercise, strengthening the abs, where we inhale up the right leg with a bent knee. So the lower leg is parallel to the mat. And then exhale, lengthen the leg. I've got my hands here on the abs just to see what's happening, what's engaged here. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up and exhale. So with your foot that's just resting on the mat, make sure that the toes are nice and loose and soft. Inhale, exhale. So engaging your pelvic floor, feeling around, see if it's okay for your belly. Taking a few of these exercises. Inhale up and lower. Now you could go way slower than that. So check in with yourself. I'll be going at the same speed as I did before, but just go slower and do less if you need to. 
Inhale the left one up, exhale down. And you can also, you don't have to go as far down if it's too much, you just go like this. See how it is. Keep checking in with yourself to see if it's okay. Feeding this strengthening all the way around your belly. You can just be feeling around your belly. Making sure your lower back's okay. And then back up to centre, lowering down and having a little rock from side to side of the hip. Oh, that's nice. Okay, back up to center. So we're going to turn around, bring ourselves up. I'm going to put my cushion back and come into the cat posture. Hands below the shoulders, knees below the hip. That's great, okay. So let's take a moment to move here in cat, just moving around, freeing up your hips, your spine, shoulders. Have a little play around however you would like to move. Moving the hips from side to side. That's good. And then coming to stillness, we're going to do our alternate arm and leg lifts again. So take a breath in to prepare and then exhale, lift up the right arm and the left leg. Take a full breath here. And on the next inhale, lift up the leg and arm a little bit more and gently move back down to the mat. So making sure you're engaging your abdominal muscles and your pelvic floor. Breath in, then exhale the left arm and the right leg up, tucking in tummy. Full breath cycle here. Soft shoulders, soft face muscles. Inhale, lifting up a little bit further and then exhale down. How did that feel? So check in with how it feels. Maybe you don't want to lift up further when we do. Maybe you want to stay up for less amount of time or for longer. <laughs> okay, one more time each side. Inhale and then exhale, lift up right arm, left leg, flexing the left leg, tucking in the pelvic floor and abdominal muscles. <laughs> Good. Breath in and exhale down. Perfect. Inhale, exhale, right arm, left leg flexing, right foot. Full breath cycle. Inhale, a little bit higher, and then exhale down. Oh, lovely, that's great. Okay, so from here we'll start to walk the hands out and come down into puppy pose. So check, check in with yourself how this feels. Is that feeling okay? With the breath, you're breathing into your thoracic spine between the shoulder blades. Whatever area is feeling stiff and in need of this stretch, shoulders, arms, mid-back, hips. And then gently bring yourself back up. Turn around the toes and place the hands in front so it's like you're, you're in child. So they're shoulder width apart, stretched out hands. And then we're going to come back into downward dogs. So this is the first time we've done downward dog in any of the series. 
So bending the knees, lifting up pelvic floor, lifting up your abs. So you've got, it's a half downward dog. Then gently lift up into an acute downward dog so you're stretching out your legs. How's that feeling with your belly? Is it okay? Check in. And then releasing the heels down one at a time, stretching out the backs of your legs. Keep checking in with yourself. It might not be okay. And you might not need to come back down to cat and have a moment in cat and then go back up. And then we'll gently walk the feet towards the hands, bending the knees, keeping yourself nice and relaxed. And so we're not going too hard at it. And folding forward in Uttanasana, being careful of your abdominal area, being super careful. Bending the knees and very, very gently coming up, bringing the hands up above the head and then down to the heart. How did that feel? Yeah, just rest here with this. Sensation, how is it? You've done some strong abdominal exercises and then you've just done a downward dog. Feel into it. Okay. From here, we're going to step out into warrior two. So previously, we've had a bit of a balance and in this one, we're going to come into our warrior two posture. So the, it's heel to arch alignment, lifting the left, the arch of the left foot. And this is your right foot in front, if you're going the same way as me. And the heel and arch are aligned. Bring your hands up and we'll have a little bit of a flow. So we're going to exhale the hands to the heart. Inhale, open up the arms, lifting up your pelvic floor, keeping nice and strong. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely lifting up pelvic floor. Inhale. Turning the right palm over and coming back for a moment into Peaceful Warrior. Be careful if this is a side where you've had surgery. Just be a bit careful of the stretch. And then back to center, lovely. Hands on the hips, turning the toes around. And we're just gonna come into a little bit of a squat while we're here. So inhale up, exhale down, lifting up pelvic floor, just being careful. Really be careful of your lower back. If it's too much, then stop. So this is a bit of leg strengthening now. So you can have one hand on your sacrum, lower, Lumbar spine, one hand on your belly, just to make sure everything's okay. I often do this, just checking out with my check, checking out. I often just make sure it's all okay. And then exhale down, that's great. And then inhale up, turning to the other side, warrior two on this side. So bending the left knee, and it's going over the ankle, heel to arch alignment, lifting through arch of the right foot, hand of the heart, inhale open, exhale closed, inhale open, exhale, beautiful, inhale open, exhale, one more time opening and then turning around the left hand Palms going up and back. Now do be careful of this side body here. Peaceful warrior. Coming back to warrior two. Bring the hands to the hips. Closing the legs. And then gently lower down into this squat so just be careful it might we're not going to stay here very long but if you ever need to you can put blocks underneath but we just won't stay very long and we'll bring ourselves down oh that's probably quite enough of that hardcore 
hardcore yoga. Okay, let's bring ourselves down onto the mat. So we're going to lie down in Shavasana with a little stretch first. Make yourself comfortable. I'm going to put a cushion under my knees. And blanket on, staying nice and warm. And lying down here in this lovely, relaxed, <sighs> final relaxation. I did promise we we're going to do something first, didn't I? So if you need to, just bring your knees up and just have a little rock from side to side. Or you can be here in Shavasana and then just twist from side to side. Whatever is good for you to just release out your spine, out your hips while from the stronger yoga. And here, completely and fully relax. Your whole body has permission to rest. It's time to rest, relax, and just be here now. Taking this time to integrate the practice might feel quite strong. Check in with your body. Check in with how you're feeling. And invite total relaxation. Total. Relaxation. And now please rest here for longer if you wish and you can. It was, yeah, it's quite a strong practice, so take your time. But if you need to get up, you can follow me. And come back up into a seated position. With one hand resting on your heart and the other on your belly. Taking some slow, soft breaths. Taking this time to give yourself some love and gratitude and thank your body for being so amazing, healing so well. And feeling really connected to your body, connected to yourself. Maybe you have a sense of coming home, coming home to yourself. Let's bring the hands into Anjali Mudra at the heart center to complete our practice. Namaste. And thank you so much for joining me. I feel really honored that you're following my videos to help with your recovery after surgery. It's so lovely. Honestly, it's really heartwarming. Um, and all the feedback I'm getting and the comments, so nice. <sighs> Makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> And if you wish to subscribe to my channel, please do leave comments and whatever you wish on, yeah, on my videos. 
And I hope to see you next week for week 11. If you'd like to become a member of this channel, then you can just click the join button below and it will show you the exclusive membership perks. It will be so lovely to have you on board. Namaste. Om Bhur Bhur Vasvaha Tat Savitu Vareniyam Bargo Devasya Divahi Diyo Yona Prachodai